Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick note card that I'm making for my brother David who as you know is a musician. This music themed note card is really simple and very cute and I hope you will try it yourself. Let me move this out of the way and show you how to create it. To create this card, I'm going to be using the Stitch Squares Framelits. I got this from Amazon. And I'm using the My Monthly Hero April, and this comes with dies. But I'm only using just this one sentiment out of this large stamp set. It has a lot of really intricate and beautiful designs, and I can't wait to make a card with this later, which features it better. I'm also using this Cinco de Miao card set with dies which came out at the same time. This is a really cute stamp set. It has little kitty cats and Mexican themed uh, sentiments and pictures. I'm also going to be using some gold thread and some rhinestones. I have a stamp from the Jazzed Up stamp set by Stampin' Up. It features musical instruments and I also have a generic musical um, staff a stamp that I got from a dollar bin somewhere. All right, let me move these out of the way and jump right in with creating this card. So I have my stamps already on my Misty ready to go, and I'm going to ink them up with my VersaFine Onyx Black. The paper that I'm using is going to be the Bristol Smooth, uh, smooth uh, Watercolor Paper. This Bristol paper is the best paper to work with for the Zig Clean Color Markers. You get a really easy blending and it, it does a really good job. And I have not gotten a good uh, on that one, so I'm going to have to do that again. So I tried to fix that, but I run, I'm not happy with how it looks, so I'm just going to flip that paper over and stamp it again. It looks a little bit heavy on one side. And I don't want that to happen, so I'm just going to do it again. It's the beautiful part about two-sided paper. There, that's much better. Clean this off real quick. And now while I have my Misty out, I'm going to stamp this sentiment in the lower corner of the smaller of the white papers. And I'm going to use the Danube Blue for that. And I'm pretty sure I might have to double stamp it so I'm going to hold that down with my magnet. Let's see what happens. Uh, no, I definitely want to double stamp that. There we go. Okay, the lawn crew has just started up while I'm making my video so you may hear the lawn mower and the weed whacker in the background. I'm very sorry. Okay, let me clear this away and move on to the next step. Okay, hopefully it'll be less noise because the lawn crew has moved down the street a little bit. So the next part, I'm going to use my Stampamajig to line up the image on the lower corner here. I don't need to use this film, but I wanted to il illustrate how it's done for those not familiar with this stamp positioner tool. You take the film, uh, slick side up, and you push it into the corner of the handle of the Stampamajig tool. Stamp your stamp up with some ink and you put it as far in the corner as you can and go straight down and straight up. Let me sit that down. And as you see, you get an impression of the picture. Now you take it and you put it where you want it to be on your cardstock. If I want it up in this corner or this way or this way, it doesn't matter. But I just want it in this corner, so I'm gonna move it over here. And then hold, making sure the paper doesn't move I'm holding the paper and the film, and I'm bringing the handle back in, and now I'm holding the paper down with the handle. I'm pressing really hard, and you move the film out of the way now because it's done its job. You ink up the stamp again, and push it in the corner, and straight down, and straight up. And the reason I needed the stamp positioner tool is because this is a very solid stamp, and sometimes it doesn't stamp properly the first time. So I wanted to be sure 
and give it another chance because I want to be sure I get a really solid image of the guitar. There we go. And it's as easy as that. Let me close this up so I don't have a mess. And I'm going to quickly stamp the word, the uh, musical notes here. And I'm leaving a lot of area in the bottom so that a message could be written here if necessary. So this I'm just going to stamp it right in the top corner. Okay, that's the inside. Now I'm going to do the water coloring. I'm going to start with the box that the little kitty is, is sitting in. Now water coloring, whether with pencils or these markers, is done the same way. You go all over with your light color, and in this case, I'm not going to be doing it fully and completely because I just want to have a base of color to start with with this one. And make sure I get the flaps. And then you come in with your medium color and you just give a slight, very slight in this case because this area is so small, bit of color on the left, the right side. That's the right side, right? Right, right side. Not too much because I don't want to overwhelm it with the ink. And now I come in with the darkest color and give a little bit on the left side. And this will make natural shading occur when I bring in the water, but I don't want to go too heavy on it. And I think that should be enough. Now I'm bringing in a piece of paper towel and my aqua pen, make the, sure the water is flowing. And just blend it. You start with the light color and just bring in the darker color. And it just blends right out as it goes. And I may need to add a few more bits of brown here and there. A little bit more water, but not too much. Okay. So I'm going to just go ahead and do this entire uh, coloring of the guitar and the kitty and let the music play. Because this is a lot of water on such a small area, I'm going to take the time and use my heat tool between the colors. Now do some quick die cutting. I have the largest of the square rectangles and this is the mat for the card. Now I'm going to cut out the, the this mat here from the background but I have to be sure that I'm within the out, outer area so that it'll be covered by the white panel. And you can do this to save paper on any project that you're doing. After I cut this out I'm also going to use the die cut for the kitty and cut him out or her and also the die cut for the, for the guitar. 
let me do this and I'll be right back okay that's the die cutting so don't throw that away you're going to need it so now I'm going to make this bow I usually speed this part up because it, it takes a little time for me to fumble through but I thought maybe somebody wanted to see a little bit slower what I'm doing so I'm just making two loops and I'm crossing one over the other and feeding it through the big circle here and then pulling it and this takes a little fiddling with to get it just right and then you just pull it pull the loops tighten the loops pull the loops tighten the loops until it's like you want it and then once you're pretty sure that that's it then you give it one last tight tight pull to make it stay okay then you just take a pair of sharp scissors and cut it on an angle okay I might fiddle with it a little bit more but that's basically how you do it okay the rest is just going to be assembling the card so I'm going to speed it up again Alright, that's the finished card. I really like this card design and I hope that you will try it yourself. This stamp set is still available on the Hero Arts website. It's called Cinco de Miao. It's really cute and I hope that you will get a chance to pick it up yourself. This simple layout can be done for any occasion. You don't need to um, think that it's only limited to just what I show you. Just let your imagination just go, go crazy. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. i like to thank my brother David for the music that he has provided. And I hope that he really likes this card and actually uses it. Sometimes when I make him cards, he thinks that they're too pretty to send out. And so it's a constant thing with him. But hopefully some of his clients will actually get to see this card. Take care, everyone, and have a great day.